bring your drawing to Southwest Isometric. So click here and select Southwest Isometric. And make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow and select parallel. Now I'm going to start uh, with a circle. And the outermost circle here is um, has 120 millimeters for diameter. So C for circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and enter 120. And the thickness for that is 20, looking from front view. So I'm going to extrude this one. I'm going to bring the circle upward first. Maybe somewhere here. And turn off the grid. Alright, so extrude this one. So you can either type in EXT for extrude command. Right click, select the object. And bring it downward for 20 units or you can go to the ribbon and inside the modeling panel you can select extrude command I'm just gonna change this to x-ray it's easier for me and um, circle again so C for circle snap the center of the face type D for diameter option and enter 72 units which is this one here looking from front view now I'm gonna extrude this one so select extrude command from the modeling panel select the circle enter and bring it downward for 130 units or 130 millimeters we're using metric here so this one here all right but before we proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap selection cycling and 3d object snap and dynamic UCS so see for circle hover over the face and snap the uh, blue circle color type D for diameter option and enter 42 units which is this one here click that uh, circle extrude command bring it downward for 50 units another circle snap the center type D for diameter option and enter 70 point no, this is not a circle sorry this is the bottom is a square as shown here and the dimension for that square is 70.71 by 70.71 so i'm just gonna draw a square outside that circle so go to draw panel and select rectangle click anywhere here and enter 70 Point seventy one for x, comma, then seventy point seventy one for y, enter, and then just move this one, select, then hover over the center, and you can see that white thingy. Just snap that. Now you're holding the center of the object, and attach it uh, here to the center of this face. And then extrude this one select extrude command select the object right click to enter move it downward for 20 units which is this one here now i'm going to combine the segments but first i'm going to check or double check the height if it's correct so type di for distance, right click to enter, specify first point, snap that uh, face, center of that face, and the bottom here, snap that, uh, click that center, and as you can see, it says 220 millimeters, which is the same as this one, so we're good. Now I'm going to union the objects, so 
inside the solid editing panel select union command this one here and just window the whole thing now this is one object now to create the bore I'm gonna do another drawing so this this red portion here and uh, I think I created a layer or I'm gonna create a layer click this one here for new layer another layer maybe click this box and select uh, red, co red color and for this one click that and select uh, blue color all right so I'm gonna change oops this one here this X here I'm gonna change the layer for this one for blue All right, and I'm gonna make uh, the red layer current. Now I'm gonna draw the bore. So C for circle. Specifies. I'll click uh, anywhere on the screen, and specify radius of circle, and enter forty-eight, which is from this point to this point, and the height for that is one hundred thirty-eight. So what I'm going to do is extrude this one. So just type in EXT for extrude command. Right click to enter. Select the object to extrude. Right click to enter again. And bring it downward for 138. Why is this so big? Alright. I'm going to change the diameter for this one. I didn't uh, click D for diameter option. You can change that by double clicking the object. And just change it here. So the radius is no, we want the diameter to be 48. Enter. Now the size has changed. All right. So extrude this one. So EXT for extrude command. Right click to enter, select the object. Right click to enter again and enter 138. Now another cylinder to attach to the bottom. So C for circle. Snap the center of the bottom. Type D for diameter option and enter 18. Now select that uh, circle and select extrude command from the ribbon. Bring it downward for 82 units. All right, so I'm just going to double check the height. So DI for distance. Specify first point. Click the center of that face and the center of this face. And uh, it is 220 millimeters, so we're good. Now I'm going to combine or union the objects. I'm just going to type in U and I for union command, enter, and we do the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to move this uh, drawing, the red one, move, snap the center of the face, and attach it to the center of the face here. Let me check. I'm going to bring it to front view looks good now subtract to create uh, the bore you subtract command so inside the solid editing panel select subtract command select the object you want to keep right click and select the object you want to subtract or remove now I'm gonna change this to realistic as you can see so change this to, I'm just going to change this to conceptual. It's easier to see. Now the bolt holes for the bigger flange. It has four bolt holes with a radius of six. And the distance between the center of the holes is 90. So we're going to create a circle from hover from the center. 
and type D for diameter option and enter 90. So this is going to be our guide. Now I'm going to create another circle. Snap the quadrant and enter 6. Yeah, it's 6, which is this one here. I can use um, array, so bring this to top view and type in array polar. Select the object to array, specify center point, click the center here, and uh, go to the ribbon, change, change the number of items to 4. Enter. And enter again. All right, I'm just going to erase that uh, guide. This one here. I'm going to change this to wireframe. It's easier to, to snap. Erase that. Now I'm going to extrude these uh, four circles. So I'm going to select that. And go to home, select extrude command. And bring it downward up to here. And then use subtract command from the solid editing panel. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to subtract. I think I miss extruding this one, so extrude again. Subtract command, click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to remove. I'm going to show you with conceptual and you can see the holes. Now I'm going to create for the, the other flange. It has also four bolt holes and the size of the hole is uh, this one here, five. And the distance between the holes is um, 50. So what I'm going to do is create another square. So inside the draw panel, say, select rectangle command and create a square with a dimension of 50 for X comma and 50 for Y. I'm just going to move this one from the center to the center of the face here. Now I'm going to create the hole or circle first and the diameter is what was that again five so see for circle click this in point enter five i'm just gonna copy this one i'm not gonna use array copy selection from in point to in point to in point and this in point now i'm just gonna delete the guide and uh, grab this circle change this to wireframe always easy and extrude command inside the modeling panel and bring it upward up to this point I'm going to change this to conceptual again and select select um, subtract command from the solid editing panel select the object you want to keep right click and select the objects that you don't want or you want to subtract and this one here there you go I'm gonna change this to realistic and bring this to I'm going to maximize this one, bring this to top view, top, not bottom, top. All right, copy this one, and I'm going to slice this object here. So go to solid, and inside the solid editing panel, select slice command. Click the object you want to slice, right click, and hover over from the center 
bring your cursor to the left or right just follow the green dash line click here and to your right click and click above that cutting line to select that side here you go there it is easier to see I'm just gonna apply colors inside so type in materials Now I'm going to change this now to realistic and select um, from metallic paint. I'm going to select red color. So this one here, click this arrow to bring it up here and um, drag this one and then press control key and drop it to that face. This one here control this one here control control again because if you do that with a, without pressing control then it will change the color of the whole thing all right drag this one and drop it control oopsie make sure to zoom it in control and drop it to the uh, thing here uh, kind of dark i'm just gonna go to home and s click uh, visualize i'm just gonna adjust the exposure setting there you go now you can see the inside of the object. I think we're done. Wait, I have to apply fillet on the edges. So go to solid. And inside the solid editing panel, click this drop down arrow and select fillet edge. And go down to the command window. Click radius option and enter 10. And um, click this edge. This edge. And enter twice repeat fillet enter twice and maybe if you want to apply fillet to smoothen the edges so click radius and just enter one I'm just gonna click this one here this edge this edge this uh, edge uh, click chain to smoothen around the corners to so chain and then select this edge and this one here enter twice let edge for this one and this one here chain all right i think i'm done please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial and thanks for watching bye